Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to be comparing a few PV55 quinacridone purple watercolours. I've got very little experience with this pigment, but I've seen it described as a light fast, transparent, non-granulating, medium staining, bluish violet to violet blue pigment. So let's take a look, shall we? First up we have Daniel Smith quinacridone purple. So I was expecting this one to be pretty strong. I'm always impressed with Daniel Smith's quinacridones. Yes, yeah, a really lovely paint. I thought it might be somewhat similar to a PV23, but it's much redder. Right, next is Schmincke Horodam Quinacridone Purple. So I'd say this one's a touch bluer than the Daniel Smith. It really does look like the blue and violet are separating from each other. Yeah, I really like this Schmincke. The Daniel Smith is much more kind of in your face and powerful, whereas this Schmincke seems more delicate, I'd say. Next we have Windsor & Newton Quinacridone Violet. Yeah, this one seems more active on the wet paper. Maybe I just use more water. But yeah, again, it's a really beautiful paint. And I think this one is much redder than the other two. I do still see that lovely blue undertone though, it's really nice. And now for the final paint here, which is Van Gogh Quinacridone Purple Blue. So this one's the only student grade paint here, and you can see that it, it doesn't move a whole lot on the wet paper. But in terms of color, it does look pretty good to me. You can still see it has that nice blue undertone. I think it might be a little bit bluer than the others, maybe. Okay, that's all of them painted out, and here they are when completely dry. Yeah, they're all beautiful colours, I'd say. I'm particularly impressed with the Van Gogh. I think it's held its own quite well against these top brands. For me, the Daniel Smith is definitely the strongest and most intense, but I think I prefer the Schmincke Horodam version a bit. It just seems more subtle and interesting to me. And the Windsor Newton is also nice, but it's a different hue and it, it lost its blue undertone as it dried. So what do you think of these PV55 watercolours? Is it a pigment you use in your palette? And which brand is your favourite? Let me know in the comments please. And thank you very much for watching, I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.